Cool. Hello everyone and welcome to another video, the second one today. Today, I, uh, right now, I have a whiskey review and I am of course continuing the Ben Riach series. Um, here on my table, I have the Ben Riach 12 year old. And this one is a little weird, a little strange. It's about two weeks ago I bought all these samples um, and now I can't find this whiskey almost anywhere. It was very difficult to find. And when I found it, uh, there, were, were, there was almost no information about it. So I don't know if this one is chill filtered or artificially colored. I am guessing that it's not. But if you guys out there know, please tell me down in the comment section. This is a little bit weird. I don't know if the this particular 12 year old um, just went out of stock and or well, they stopped producing it or whatever. There's a couple of other 12 year olds i have one of them over here it's the 12 year old horizon i'll be doing that later on and then there's also another 12 year old which is the sherry cask aged one this one pretty weird um there was almost no information i found two places that i could buy it uh three actually two danish uh sites and then on amazon somebody some private person was selling it. So I don't know if, it's, as I said, if it's artificially colored or not, or if it's chill filtered or not. Um, but if you do find it, it costs around 400 Danish crowns, which is about 40 English pounds, maybe 45 American dollars or euros. Uh, that's for 70 centiliters and it's 43% alcohol. Um, what I also found was that the American version of this or the the bottle being sold in America is 46% alcohol Don't know why that is that's just what I found out It could be a good good whiskey anyway So of course we're gonna taste it and nose it and all those things that most important things uh, There's no sponsored content in this video and as always everything on this channel is just my opinion if you have another opinion think something else that's just fine. Uh, leave a comment about it down below. That would really mean a lot to me. What I do love about these comments is if mostly if we disagree, but we can have a common sense dialogue about it. Just a talk about it. Yeah, it's quite dark, actually. Um, dark amber. Um, the leg is quite heavy, maybe medium to heavy. Yeah. Oh, it's very powerful on the nose. A little bit sharp, actually. Quite sharp, to be fair. I'm actually getting a little bit of sherry notes and getting some citrus notes. Um, it's very full bodied. So at the same time that it's quite powerful, quite heavy, quite uh, sharp, there's also this full bodied well roundedness to it with sherry, fruits, especially citrus. Well, some of the other Ben Riach wasn't really uh, normal space sites, in my opinion. This one really is. There's also quite a lot of sweetness there. Yeah, honey sweetness. But the tasting, of course. It's good.
That's interesting because the, wow. I'm liking the Ben Riach distillery more and more. This one is really good. Mm. You like whiskey? Buy this one, like all the other ones. There's no sharpness at the palate at all. There's some mulchiness there. There's some oakiness. Um, and it's just a smooth palate. The finish, however, is an explosion. Um, no sharpness, a lot of power, a lot of flavor power. And it's just a mix of, there's actually sherry there, but not a lot. There's oak. There's mulchiness, there is citrus, but there's also a heavy, not overpowering and not too sweet, but a heavy sweetness there. It is oily and mouthwatering, and it just, it's really good. I'm gonna just nose it and taste it again, just to make sure that I am accurate in describing it. Second time nosing it, no sharpness at all, just power, flavor-wise, and the flavors are oak, little hint of multi sweetness. There's uh, there's quite a lot of honey sweetness. There's a little bit of sherry. I'm actually getting citrus, still citrus like the first time, but now I'm also getting some ripe bananas. Definitely. The tasting. The palate. It's very smooth um, with sherry, with a little bit of oak, with a little bit of malt. The finish is powerful, it's long and mouth watering, oily, and also just a honey sweetness buttering your mouth. There's also citrus there, and there's also that ripe bananas. Mmm, this one tastes good. Um, I can't remember where I put all the other Ben Riach at when I rated them, but this one is very good. Oh, I remember the other one. I like those as well, but this one is. I try when I do these series I try to kind of start with the cheapest one and move up it, because then I feel like I will be going to the least good to the to the best but but I'm already at a 9.5 so this Ben Riach 12 year old for me is a 9.5 I like this one very very much so if you can get a hold of it as I said earlier it was quite difficult to find but 400 Danish crowns for this is a bargain. You're really, really getting some value for your money. So if you come across this one, definitely, definitely consider buying it. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, the next Ben Riaches I have is over here. It's a peated quarter cask, which is a little bit more expensive than this one. Then I have the 12 year old Horizon. I don't know what that means yet. I haven't researched it. And then there's the 20 year old. So quite a lot of possibility and potential for them over there to be a lot better. So when I'm at already at a 9.5, who knows where this could go. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with friends and family. 
Also, as I said earlier, comments down below. Um, that would really mean a lot to me and I will respond to all of them. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and maybe hit that bell button so you don't miss out. Um, also, please check out my Instagram account. It's Dungan underscore. If you like what you see there, please give me a follow. Um, that would really mean a lot to me and I will highly appreciate it. Um, as I said, the video earlier today, tomorrow I will also be doing two videos, hopefully. Uh, first a Christmas beer slash ale and then a uh, Ben Riach whiskey again. So yeah, hope to see you tomorrow and have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. Bye-bye.